New York City, also known as the city that never sleeps, is a whirlwind of energy and reinvention, attracting creativity, talent, innovation, and opportunity. But how can this city maintain its reputation as a place where people never sleep while keeping up with its growing population's infrastructure demands? What factors led to the growth of New York City? Let's dive in and know more. Future The most important thing if the renderings of the iconic city in 2030 by creative design firm Visual House are any indication, design enthusiasts have even more to look forward to. It included everything from recently opened buildings to under construction projects and future proposals, all of which offered a glimpse of what the skyline could look like in 14 years. The future of business in New York State is bright thanks to our skilled workforce, world-class innovations, and significant investments in the critical building blocks of progress, infrastructure, and transportation. The state of New York is demonstrating a strong commitment to remaining competitive in an evolving global economy by making infrastructure and transportation projects a top priority. Additionally, offshore wind, renewable energy, energy storage, and workforce training initiatives are part of New York's vision for growing its green economy. Governor Hockel has announced plans for a $500 million nation-leading offshore wind investment. You all would be astonished to hear that New York is on track to have 9,000 megawatts of offshore wind energy by 2035, and the Connect All office is working to transform the state's digital infrastructure in order to provide New Yorkers with affordable broadband and access to the innovation economy. But recently, the coronavirus pandemic has prompted an urgent shift from working in offices to working from home, as well as a massive boost to digital platforms for telecommuting, teleconferencing, and online teaching in New York and other cities. Nonetheless, the technology industry has created some of the most significant spaces for face-to-face -face interaction in recent years. These are the global hegemonic innovation complexes, hackathons, meetups, startup accelerators, and innovation districts. Many of these spaces are located in New York, the world's second-largest startup ecosystem and a superstar city for digital technology jobs. Numbers vary depending on who is counting, but city officials and organizations representing the tech community claim the city has more than 9,000 startups and between 150 and 300,000 tech workers, with half of them working in non-tech companies. There are 70 tech accelerators, some specializing in fields such as health or finance, 44 coding schools, and over 500 tech training and education programs. While big tech titans such as Amazon, Google, and Facebook are expanding their footprints in Manhattan by 1 million square feet each, a recent study revealed that the Brooklyn waterfront is the second fastest growing innovation economy in the U.S. Despite the risk of flooding and rising water levels, a large portion of this landscape is on the water's edge. Small-scale computer hardware startups, media platforms, branding agencies, and production studios for film and television production can be found along the East River in North Brooklyn, from Greenpoint to Sunset Park, with the Brooklyn Navy Yard serving as a hub. Google has a large presence near the Hudson River in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood, and it is expanding into the old printing house district known as Hudson Square. To the north, Facebook has leased space near top financial firms in Hudson Yards, a newly built high-status district. Meanwhile, Condé Nast and Spotify are based in the World Trade Center's newly reconstructed office towers near the Hudson River in Lower Manhattan. The historical financial district at the tip of Lower Manhattan has been transformed from river to river into a tech and media hub. New York has the greatest income disparities of any major U.S. city, with the top 1% of the population receiving 44% of the city's income. New York City has extreme wealth and extreme poverty, and plenty of both appears to be natural law, older than the subway or the Brooklyn Bridge. While there is some truth to that, the city has not always had the extremes that it does now. Today, the richest 1% of city residents control 44% of all income in the city, a figure nearly four times higher than 30 years ago. Over the last three decades, the vast majority of economic gains in the U.S. and New York have gone to the very top of the income pyramid. Over time, the economy has grown significantly, but those at the very top have received a vastly disproportionate share of the benefits, leaving very little for the rest. The de Blasio administration released One New York, the plan for a strong and just city, a comprehensive plan for a sustainable and resilient city for all New Yorkers that addresses the profound social, economic, and environmental challenges that lie ahead. However, with the poverty rate remaining high and income inequality increasing, 
the de Blasio administration added equity as a guiding principle throughout the plan. One NYC establishes measurable goals for addressing these issues in the coming years, including a poverty reduction rate of 800,000 New Yorkers over the next 10 years, zero waste to landfills by 2030, and the elimination of long-term displacement from homes and jobs after shock events by 2050, with immediate action to put the city on track to meet these targets. Environmental and economic sustainability must coexist, and One NYC is the blueprint to ensure that they do, Mayor de Blasio said. We set specific goals to ensure that as we build a stronger, more sustainable and resilient city, we also build a more equitable one. This is a bold and ambitious plan, and New York City requires nothing less. From our unprecedented goal of lifting 800,000 New Yorkers out of poverty to sweeping environmental initiatives like zero waste, the cleanest air in any large city, and a dramatic reduction in emissions, this is a bold and ambitious plan. One NYC builds on the strong foundation established ensuring that the city can meet the challenges of today and tomorrow while inspiring others around the world to do the same. Skyscrapers and how could we forget skyscrapers? If we're talking about New York's future, you won't believe that there are some amazing plans that will take the city in a different direction. For nearly a century, New York City has been well known for its stunning skyline. The city has more skyscrapers than the vast majority of other cities in the world, especially after the recent construction boom, which brought many new super tall towers to the city. As of late 2021, the city has 16 buildings that are higher than 1,000 feet built or under construction, ranking second only to Dubai which has 25 such buildings, but New York has more than 1,312-foot-tall buildings. Aside from those completed or topped-out towers, New York City has a large number of skyscrapers under construction, not topped out or planned, many of which are more than 300 meters tall. Let's have a look at them. Park Avenue 270, J.P. Morgan Chase World Headquarters With 423 meters in height, J.P. Morgan Chase announced in early 2018 that it will demolish its current headquarters at 270 Park Avenue and replace it with a super-tall tower. The British architecture firm Foster & Partners was chosen in October 2018 to design the tower, whose height was reported to be 1,400 feet. There is currently no official rendering available. The demolition permit for the existing building was filed in January 2019, and demolition work is expected to be completed in mid-2021. J.P. Morgan Chase plans to complete the new building in 2024. The Tower of Affirmation With a height of 507 meters, Affirmation Tower is a proposed 95-story skyscraper next to Hudson Yards. The tower will be made up of stacked boxes that gradually increase in size, with the largest one on top. This design is similar to Big's version of the Two World Trade Center. On top of the tower, there will be hotels, offices, and an observation deck. 175 Park Avenue with a height of 480 meters and an estimated built year is 2030. Park Avenue, also known as Project Commodore, this tower will replace the 26-story Grand Hyatt New York, which was originally named the Commodore Hotel. The proposal for the tower was first announced in November 2020. The height was initially planned to be 502 meters, but it was reduced to 480 meters when the project received approval in December 2021. As the tower is set to replace the current Grand Hyatt Hotel, it will contain a new Grand Hyatt on its upper floors, and the middle and lower floors are mostly office spaces. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.